Hey guys, it's Sunday and I am feeling so well rested today. I fell asleep last night somewhere around 6 or 6.30. So yeah, this morning I just stayed in bed for three hours from 8 till 11, played some Animal Crossing, browsed Reddit, watched some YouTube videos, you know, that good stuff. Just had a nice chill morning. Now I'm gonna get some stuff done. On my to-do list I wrote set up new computer and start switch customization. So that's the priority for today. The computer did arrive on Friday, so I have not opened it yet. I need to open it up and, you know, make sure it works <laughs> and just do some bare minimum stuff to it. Like I need to get OBS downloaded and set up, or at least like, well, I could partially set up some scenes. I need my webcam to arrive that I bought for the basement setup. It's a higher quality one than what I have now. and. It says its estimated delivery date is June 17th, so we have to wait a little bit longer for that. And so in the meantime, I thought, well, I could use, like up here, I use an actual camera camera for my workout streams, just because the actual, the, the webcams are just too low res. Like they're technically 1080p, but it's a really bad 1080p. <laughs> so I thought I could use that thing, but I won't have a way to plug it in. But I might test using my Elgato cam links. There are these adapters I got forever ago but they didn't really work well although I don't remember if I ever tried them with these cameras or not but it could be a temporary solution until I get the nice camera otherwise I'll just have to continue doing the workout streams up here in the meantime so I want to test that out but I don't want to spend too much time on all that because again I want to do my switch customization stuff just get started on that today and we'll see how far I go I kind of want to start with the Joy-Con mods and see if I can do that successfully without ruining the Joy-Cons. <laughs> I thought this computer was gonna come in some gigantic box with lots of styrofoam. The box is probably the exact size of the computer and this is a very small tower. Like look, this box alone is smaller than my upstairs tower. Okay, don't knock this over, kick. So yeah, it's a refurbished computer. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> this really is small. I forgot it comes with a keyboard and mouse. so small but that's good it won't take up too much space <laughs> look at this little baby this is like barely bigger than a ps4 <laughs> wait is there even a mouse it said it came with one but if it if there isn't one that's not a big deal because i have one really don't even need this keyboard either oh it looks like the mouse is in this box yeah it's from High Tech Bay Inc., which is my own company. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> High Tech Bay! This could fit right on the desk, even. <laughs> I just want to make sure it's close enough that I can extend my Stepmania mat out here. I could probably put it right here. I might want it on some kind of, um, like, I have some foam stuff I can set down to give it grip so it doesn't get knocked off. It could also just go here. This might be a little more safe. Again, as long as all my cables can reach, then that's good. I'm actually gonna lay this down because it has the four feet on the side. That way it's a little more stable and I could put something on top of it. Like, well, maybe not a monitor because there, then they'll be at different heights, but I could maybe put this on it. It has a little Wi-Fi Bluetooth dongle in it already. I'm probably just gonna plug it in to the ethernet port right over there. Um, yeah, I did not, I thought the graphics card had two display ports, but the display ports are up here. That's a little misleading because I need I need an adapter for this. Plus, this is just straight up HDMI. I specifically bought two cables to convert display port to HDMI. And for Ethernet, I could not find another long Ethernet cable. I swear we had another longer one. Maybe it's just hiding somewhere. I don't know. So I took this one out of my art room and put a shorter one in the art room, but I had to move the Google Wi-Fi in order for it to work. So yeah, I've been 
crawling under desks and rearranging cables and stuff already. <laughs> this is probably a bad day to wear a long skirt because I'm going up and down the stairs a million times and crawling around and yeah. <laughs> I was about to order a display port to HDMI adapter. Then I thought, well, let me just ask Christian first, just in case he has one. And he was like, oh yeah, I have that. So we went searching high and low for it. It took us like 10 minutes. Finally, he's like, oh, here it is. He had it to me and I was like, this is VGA, not HDMI. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to order one, order an adapter off Amazon. I ended up going with an actual DVI to HDMI cable instead of an adapter because they were the same price. And it just, it just helps avoid less issues because that's just one piece instead of an adapter then going to another cable because sometimes if you have too many adapters it can cause problems. So yeah, I just went with that. It's ordered. It should be here on like Tuesday or something. So yeah, I don't need that today so that's fine. The only thing is I will not bring my camera downstairs and try out the cam link thing because I need, I want the second monitor before I even attempt to stream on this otherwise it's going to be next to impossible so I'll wait on that and try that out another day once my second monitor is up and running. I need to update OBS on my upstairs computer. When I launched it, it like did some setting stuff, but then it automatically opens a window with my stream information and this. Maybe it's because it's linked to my Twitch specifically. The one upstairs, I just use a stream key, so I think that linking to Twitch is somewhat of a new feature. I mean, it's possible it's been around at least a couple years now, but <laughs> new since I set up OBS on my computer. <laughs> it's very handy. There. There. Cool. And the computer is not dying just at me opening OBS. Look, we're at like 3% CPU usage. 2%? Whoa. My laptop, it just shoots to 100 just opening OBS. Even if I'm not even streaming, I just open it. And my computer, my computer upstairs hates it for some reason. I don't know. Like just a laptop. Just a laptop. <laughs> my main computer obviously is fine. So yeah, it's up and running. And I'm just going to leave this on here for now so that I can easily access cables and stuff. Oh yeah, this thing's weird. You gotta, you gotta click the button, but it's also like a joystick. Power off. Yeah. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, I'll just leave this like this for now and it's working enough that I can still do store stuff. I will actually need the drivers for my printer, the little zebra printer, but I can do that later whenever I go to use it. <laughs> Let's do the cat jam calendar. So for Friday, I hump my dad's Raiders blanket multiple times a day. I am so gross. Yes, that is gross. All right. I am a bully and a thief. He's got the look for it. Okay, and wait. This is Saturday and Sunday, so that's it. You know what? I am going to open this because this is for the basement setup too. Box in a box. Huh. And... <laughs> Two boxes in that box. <laughs> adjustable height okay yeah there it is look how shiny whoa <laughs> boop it's that easy i'm going to quickly repaint my nail because when the nail broke it took some of the gel with it so i'm going to repaint that so it looks a little bit better for my video I like how my nail polish is the exact color of my shirt right now because it's that weird goldy silver. It's like not fully silver, it's warmer, like part gold, part silver. Yet they are both that color. Yeah, Geek, it's very interesting, isn't it? Isn't this like the most newsworthy thing you've heard all week? What's weird is our pencil markings on the inside of this. Like, there's some right there. I don't know if they're all like this. This one's got 
pencil mark field on it. Okay, Joy-Con number one is done. That was a bit of an adventure. I had to remove two stripped screws because I was putting these final four screws in. Two of them stripped, but luckily there was enough of a gap between the plastic. I could squeeze these pliers in and grab it from the side and unscrew it. Although one of them, I could hardly pry it enough. Like I was in here with tweezers at first because they're skinnier and I'm like trying to do it. <laughs> I almost busted the plastic in the meantime because I was like stretching it to get the pliers in there but it worked out so yeah that's the pink one this one's gonna stay yellow but I'm gonna swap the buttons so that it looks like this one even these little buttons on the side are changed <laughs> this took me two hours <laughs> but at least now I know what I'm doing so this should be a little bit faster for this one even though the insides are a bit different between the left and right ones and here's my neon red shell. It's really like an orangey red. Anyway, anyway, yeah. <laughs> so excited. I'll probably eventually put this on a gray controller, but I'm gonna wait. Actually, this one doesn't really need to wait. It's this one that needs to wait because I wouldn't mind putting this on a gray one as well, but I'm gonna wait until that Joy-Con is repaired. Like the, the joystick has the drift problem, so gonna wait and get it repaired by Nintendo once they reopen and then I can swap the shell. Beep, 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 beep. If this one ever starts to drift, I'll have to probably just replace the whole joystick myself because um, Nintendo, I don't think, is gonna accept a modified Joy-Con. This one has pencil marks in it too. And both are done. <sighs> what time is it right now? It is 6.08. Okay, so it took me about an hour and 15 minutes to do this one. This one must have been more than two. I don't know. Who knows? I was done originally in about 40 minutes, but the buttons weren't clicking right. Like the A and X were okay, but the B and Y were weird. So I had to reopen it up two times. And the second time I realized that the rubber piece that covers the buttons on the inside was turned 90 degrees. And so I had to flip it the proper way. And now they click just fine. This one's definitely a little trickier in terms of the... The ribbons inside so I would definitely say start with the left one if you're gonna do this this one is just a little more delicate it seems oh <sighs> yeah I filmed some shots though well I did some before shots of the switch and then I did some after shots of the joy cons including with this let me put this thing on and show you how cute it looks just look at this look at the pastel cuteness there's no replacement buttons for these but yeah oh I never play like this anyway unless I'm doing just dance but it's really cute. This pink shell is slightly thicker than the regular one. Like, I don't know if you can see this lip right here. It is slightly thicker, but other than that, it everything fit great. The other one is brown, so it kind of is silly. It still looks cute though, but I never play with this one, so I don't know if I'll ever use it. So excited though. Yes, making some progress. And then tomorrow I can start painting it. We'll probably start and finish. I don't see it taking me that long to paint it. Like it should be doable within one day. So yeah, and then after that I can start animating the the animated portion of the video. <laughs> Shiny Ponita, dude. I had, this is like, okay, as soon as I turned my switch on, after walking like three steps, a group of them hatched, so that was five, six, seven, eight, ninth, ninth hatch of today. Assuming I haven't, re like, hatched any and released before I started doing this the other night, box eight was full through box 14, I guess. I haven't hatched anything from box 14 yet, but... I'll have to hatch the rest just in case there's a second shiny hiding in there. <laughs> that was a quick hunt. 
30, 60, 90, 120, 184. That's fast. Now I can finally finish the game, Christian. I gotta finish it before the DLC comes out. I don't believe you. You'll start shiny hunting something else. No, this was like the last thing on my list. Well, I have a huge list actually, but this was like the last, like, if I encounter it thing on my list. I have a full shiny party, so. Woohoo! Name brand glitter. Look, cheap glitter, expensive glitter. Money talks, people. Guys, did you hear? The history of ice cream class had another heart attack. Three more, and we're all in. Okay, it's the next day, and I am working on my switch. I have some gesso on here. It's just drying, and I'll probably do one more coat. I don't know if I need it necessarily. It depends. Oh, this is looking a little rough over here. Hold on. A little bit, a little bit lumpy there. Smooth it out a bit. Okay. Yeah, maybe one more coat of this, and then I can start on the color. And I'm watching Tangled the series. <laughs> I'm still pretty early, and I'm what? Episode four. <laughs> well, plus I watch the the movie thing that comes before it. Yeah. Kind of just waiting for the current coat to dry. The top might be good to go because I do the top and the sides and then the front, but by the time I'm done the front, usually I'm good to do this part again. Still feels a little cool. I might leave it a few more minutes. Just watching paint dry. This is going to take a lot longer than I thought because layers. Layers! Oh, I can see my hand on the screen. <laughs> anyway, I guess I'll go put the laundry in the dryer. I'm thinking this could be a good thing to work on on Wednesday. I thought I would get it all done today, but I don't think that's going to happen. It could be a good Wednesday thing, though, because it'll, again, take layers. I got to do all the flowers on it, which is, it's going to be time consuming. This is all just like, big blocky area. Well, I guess there's detail in the face and the color and like all the white spots multiple times. But yeah, I feel like there's enough work left to do like I'm still gonna do more today but there'll still be enough work left to do that I could probably fill Wednesday stream with this and that kind of works out because I wasn't sure what I was gonna do Wednesday so yeah I can do that it is now 620 I got my second coat of blue on there and since I had to let it dry I'm I edited the vlog up until now so everything you watched up until now I just edited and the paint, I'm just gonna let it sit somewhere. It's kind of sticky to the touch. So I'm just gonna leave it for now. The rest can be done in the the stream. Blah, blah, blah. What? What is it, Moosh? Lead the way. What? It's too early for treats if that's what you're thinking. Well, no. This mail slips from the future. It says May 26th on it. It's the 25th today. Anyway, um, that mail slip I think is for my Capron order because it says I owe $122.45 in customs. They dropped off a different package but not that one and I'm wondering if it's because of the customs. I think Canada Post is trying to be very contactless with everything. Like there's no signatures even for stuff right now. We've had other shipping companies make us pay customs at the door, but uh, I know DHL makes you do it in advance and I guess Canada Post is doing it too. So those are gonna be huge heavy boxes, assuming it's in two boxes again. I ordered a bit less this time to stay under a certain dollar amount. So I'll have to get that tomorrow at some point. I'll probably have to bring my big dolly thing. Wait, no, no, no. Wait, the wagon might work better. That wagon has come in handy so many times. I think I'm gonna finish off the night by doing the other BRB sign for Twitch because I did the basic BRB thing with the ladybug around it and I wanna take that and insert it into a full screen graphic for lunch breaks. So I'm gonna work on that. But I also want to insert this into the vlog and finish it up. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. What I want to do is take a gold leaf pen and paint the outer edge of this. I think it's dry enough that I can handle it. 
without ruining it. So let's do that. I have a million and one things I want to do today, which is a good problem to have. 